This last year, we have seen major protests erupt across the whole world against the neoliberal fascist regimes. In Chile, in the Lebanon, Colombia, Ecuador, Haiti, France, and now of course also in Bolivia, fighting the new US imposed military dictatorship there. When will we see the name of England appended to that noble list? I sense the scratching of heads in drawing rooms across the home counties. What's he talking about? The man's a bloody pink old pervert. Bloody anti-Semite. What's he talking about? We don't live in a dictatorship. This is a free country, a democracy with all the finest traditions of fair play. <laughs> Well, I've got news for you, disgruntled of Tunbridge Wells. We like to think this is a free country, but are we really free? Why? When Julian Assange is brought to the dock in the tiny magistrate's court inside Belmarsh Prison, there are so many seats occupied by anonymous American suits, whispering instructions into the attentive ear of the prosecution's lead barrister, James Lewis QC. Why? Because we don't live in a free country. We live in a glorified dog kennel. And we bark and or wag our tails at the bidding of our lords and masters across the pond. So, England, I call upon our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, to declare his colours. Does he support the spirit of Magna Carta? Democracy, freedom, fair play, free speech, and especially the freedom of the press. If the answer to these questions is yes, then come on, Prime Minister! Let's support them! Be the British bulldog that you would have us all believe you are. Stand up to the bluster of American hegemony Call off this show trial, this charade, this kangaroo court. The evidence before the court is incontrovertible. Julian Assange is an innocent man. <laughs>